Hey Star Wars fans and collectors and welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. This time we're looking at number 95 in the line. This is the second sister Inquisitor from uh, coming from the Fallen Jedi Order game which is due out in about a month's time. Um, a month today actually being the 15th of October. Uh, the game is due out on the 15th of November so uh, this is a really really nice figure. It's the first of the Inquisitors we've seen so far. And uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a 360, so you can uh, get a little bit of a look around. Um, really, really happy with this figure. It looks great. I hope it part leads the path to have uh, more Inquisitors come in the future. Um, they've got a lightsaber, um, so that they can do with all the Inquisitors now. Um, but this is really, really, not really, really cool. Um, another thing I've touched up on this figure, I did talk about how I glued the cape onto my Mandalorian figure. Um, I have done the same thing with this version. Uh, she does come with this cape, which is removable. Um, but she also comes with uh, some swap out shoulder pads and you can see them molded into this part of the cape. So it looks like the cape flows out from underneath it somehow. Um, but that's part of her armor. Um, you, I have put them away in a, in a box for the moment. But you can have them either way. I just thought she looked a lot cooler um, with the cape on. I like the red in the background or on the inside of the cape. Um, it's just a really striking look about it. So in terms of the accessories, she does, like I said, I include, as I just spoke about, the uh, shoulder pads. And I'll pick her up. She does come with her Inquisitor lightsaber which we have seen in action in Star Wars Rebels. Blades are removable. So we'll put them aside and have her just, just fighting with one, which is cool. One thing I really liked about the Grand Inquisitor in the Rebels is that he could attach his, his lightsaber hilt onto his back, onto the armor on his back. Um, but there's nowhere to do it on this figure, so doesn't matter. Let's take a look at the figure itself. So we can look at our helmet. It's definitely reminiscent of those sort of Imperial, Imperial helmets. It's got a bit of Vader about it. a really really cool design the red the red eye slit there is really awesome it's got a nice shiny look to it uh, the cape is a really nicely molded piece it's a quite a malleable soft plastic um, the Imperial logo on its shoulder. That one doesn't look so. That one doesn't look so hot. But the rest of our uniform sort of very much resembles a take on just the Imperial officer's uniform. Um, with a few different different pieces, obviously, but uh, obviously they're going to fit in with the Imperial hierarchy. The red stripe down the arm. And down the leg. Goes nicely with the red inside the cape. The cape's really nice looking. Long black gloves. Long black shiny boots. The clips there on the top of the chest to hold the, I believe they'd hold the cape on. Could be wrong about that too. The belt. Just an overall a really nice looking figure. Um, one issue I have seen on mine, kind of, um, is that some of the, the, the hands are obviously a, a red plastic and they've painted the black over on the front and we've kind of got a little bit of wear. Um, it's hard in this light. It's mainly this one, there's a little bit of paint wear the side there 
but uh, that's not a problem. It's not a big deal at all. And I do have her in one of these weird Hasbro stands, <laughs> which doesn't allow much to stand up. Um, but yeah, a really, really cool figure. I'm really, really excited to see this character in action in Jedi Fallen Order next month. In terms of articulation, this figure does have ball jointed head. I think she's got a ball jointed neck. Not sure. No ball jointed neck. Ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, uh, jointed torso, ball jointed hips, sort cut thighs, double joints and knees, and ball hinged ankles. So all the good articulations. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys and until my next video, may the force be with you.